Hello everyone, welcome back to another session in Dentistry and More. So today we have a small topic in physiology that is HPA axis or HTPA axis. So which is hypothalamic pituitary adrenal axis. So it is uh, a central nervous system arrangement and which acts mainly on the uh, stress response when there is a stress this uh, axis of hypothalamus pituitary adrenal will be activated and there will be um, production of hormones and facing that peculiar stress situation okay so hpa axis or hypothalamic pituitary adrenal axis it is a complex set of direct influences and feedback interactions so hope you understand what is a feedback mechanism and direct influences there is a hormone releasing from this and it influences pituitary and it in turn influences adrenal cortex and again if if there is a deficiency of if there is excess the cortisol will negatively act on hypothalamus or any other gland and which will reduce the secretion of the hormones that is negative feedback mechanism there is a mechanism or there is a message giving back to the original position so that there will be a balance at the end product that is feedback mechanism so it is a complex set of direct influences and feedback interaction among three components so which are the components one is hypothalamus anterior pituitary and adrenal cortex so hypothalamus we know it is a structure in brain then anterior pituitary which is a p-shaped structure located below the thalamus and adrenal gland which are the uh, minor glands which is present above the kidneys okay so these are the three structures so now let's see what is happening in hpa axis so the paraventricular nucleus of hypothalamus okay so there is many nucleus and particularly paraventricular nucleus of hypothalamus which contains neuroendocrine neurons which synthesize and secrete two hormones that is vasopressin and corticotropin releasing hormone okay so crh and vasopressin so these are released from paraventricular nucleus of hypothalamus so these two hormones which regulate the anterior lobe of pituitary gland in particular these two hormones stimulate the secretion of adrenocorticotropic hormone okay so crh and vasopressin which regulate the adrenocortico tropic hormone secretion which is also known as corticotropin this is earlierly known as corticotropin so what happens this acth which in turn acts on the adrenal cortex those are the glands which is present above the kidney so it acts on adrenal cortex so crh acts on pituitary to release of acth acth act on adrenal cortex which produces glucocorticoids that is cortisol adrenal cortex release many hormones glucocorticoids mineralocorticoids so the glucocorticoids is cortisol which is a basic hormone for stress response okay so sometimes what happens is this cortisol will act on anterior pituitary and hypothalamus as i mentioned in a negative feedback so there is some imbalances happening in the production of cortisol cortisol will give feedback to these two to produce lesser amount of crh and acth so that there will be a balance happens here in the production of cortisol okay that is a negative feedback mechanism 
so cortisol is a hormone which is helping us to face the stress or a stress response hormone so since it is a stress related hormone so stress managing hormone when there is uh, over production or uh, more than normal production of cortisol happens there is increased availability of glucose so why this glucose is coming it is to facilitate uh, the response of the person to uh, fight or fleeing so this responses needs more glucose that is done by the production of cortisol so at the same time uh, there is increased glucose availability the cortisol also suppress the highly demanding metabolic process of the immune system which in turn result in further availability of glucose so that's how it uh, makes the glucose available for all these stress response okay so other than that uh, this hp axis uh, is influenced by uh, physical activity illness uh, blood levels of cortisol and also by this uh, sleep wakes uh, sleep wake cycle which is uh, known as circadian rhythm so the hpa axis which has a central role in regulating many homeostatic systems in the body such as metabolic system cardiovascular system immune system uh, reproductive system and central nervous system which basically this hp axis basically integrates physical and psychosocial influences in order to allow an organism to adapt effectively to its environment so that is about hp axis it is basically a stress response hormone and it is starting from hypothalamus by corticotropic releasing hormone anti repetitory adrenocorticotropic releasing hormone and ultimately it releases cortisol to face the stress and also many functions it has so when there is over production there will be a negative feedback mechanism happens and there will be a balance so that's all about hp axis it is a commonly asked short knot in physiology so i'll come up with a new topic in human physiology thank you